My name is Kieran and I've been going to Ashkin for about a year now um, and I got accepted early decision into Cornell's School of Community Ecology for fashion design. One of my pieces, well one of the biggest pieces in my portfolio was based on the idea of ants and how when fire ants are submerged in um, a body of water, they sort of link their arms and their legs and they form these rafts for survival. So taking this idea, I sort of um, connected it to chain mail and how chain mail is also like com comprised of many different little parts um, to make you know a survival um, armor. So I made a piece that was a chain mail necklace um, and I made some fashion illustrations based on it as well. And then another piece um, was an orchid piece um, inspired by my grandfather and the idea of an heirloom and how um, our current generation has sort of rejected the idea of an heirloom favoring you know, more disposable products um, or you know, clothing or jewelry that's disposable. Um, and my grandfather passed that his ring to me, so that's sort of an heirloom. And so I drew from my personal like, idea of an heirloom, which was that ring, but also more generalized um, ideas of heirlooms, such as the background um, fabric that I put, which is like a smocking pattern, which is usually used on heirloom baby clothing. The most difficult part of creating an art portfolio is probably time management, because there's a lot that goes into creating an art portfolio, and knowing how to balance creating an art portfolio as, long, as well as um, your schoolwork and also all the writing that you have to do for college applications. Um, you really have to plan ahead for that and um, know what kind of a commitment that you're making when you're making the portfolio. The most enjoyable part of making the portfolio is probably meeting everybody um, at the portfolio classes and um, you know taking inspiration from them, learning what they're doing, but also um, the sense of accomplishment that you get from creating a portfolio that you spend a lot of time on and that you've um, sort of created ideas that are really meaningful to you. A lot of my inspiration is drawn from my family and um, my personal life. So I, take, I, so I took one of my ideas from how my grandmother um, taught me to sew and she taught me to knit. Um, and she was sort of like a guiding person in my life. And so I was inspired by her to create a lot of my pieces. Um, and I'm also just inspired by being at a class where the, the work environment is um, very much like throwing ideas back and forth. With me. Keeping a sketchbook definitely helps because um, you know you come up with ideas at random moments. You can't just sort of think of an idea uh, like on the spot. So, for example, one of my pieces that I made, like the idea came to me in a dream, and I wrote it down like the morning right after I woke up. And I would have never remembered that idea if I hadn't written it down. So just keeping a, like sort of a log of all your ideas that come to you as you go about your life, and then. When, you, when it comes to creating a piece, um, just looking through that log of ideas that you have and then choosing different pieces and you know, coming further ideas for them. One of the major themes in my portfolio is family. Um, as I said earlier, I draw a lot of inspiration from my personal life. So um, just taking inspiration from them and what I know is re was really helpful in making my portfolio. The theme came up because I, at the beginning of creating my portfolio, I sort of was trying to derive ideas that um, I thought would be like that I thought were catering to what the school wanted me to create, but nothing was really coming out of that, and I spent a lot of time conceptualizing ideas that I wasn't really that passionate about. Um, but then when it came to coming up with ideas that surrounded my family, I was more you know inclined to work on the pieces because they were very meaningful to me. Um, yeah, oftentimes I feel like. I can compare my, find myself comparing myself to others, um, or that my work isn't, you know, as good as everybody around me. But what I sort of learned is that making pieces, well, when you're making pieces, you're learning for yourself, and you're really gaining, like, you're you're learning how to make pieces and um, that are personal to you, and you're really growing in your craft. So just comparing yourself to others is not not helpful. Stay on track with creating my art consistently. Um, I made sure to come up with ideas that I was actually interested in making because, you know, you, I spent a lot of time conceptualizing. I spent most of my time and my energy conceptualizing ideas because, um, you know, you don't want to work on a piece that you're not interested in and that you're not um, motivated to work on. So when you have an idea that you're really passionate about, then you're really motivated to work on it. And, you know, you want to come to class, you want to work on it, and you want to see the final product. So my main advice to students creating an art portfolio is to go out of your comfort zone and work with materials that you're not used to working with, um, coming up with ideas that 
you know, you wouldn't have come up with earlier. And because the making a portfolio, you're also learning at the same time. You're not just making pieces that you would normally make in your everyday life. So um, it's a really a growing process. My goals are to take pieces or take concepts that I had originally had while um, conceptualizing for pieces because obviously you're not going to flesh out every single idea that you have in um, your sketchbook. So I really, in the future, I want to go back to my old ideas and make them into um, actualized pieces. Um, taking it classes at Ashkin was really helpful to me because um, of the work environment that they foster for their students. You know, it's not just you come to class and you work um, in silence. You know, you have a whole group of people around you who are also working on a portfolio at the same time. You have a huge support system from them, but also from the teachers at Ashcan. Um, they're really supportive um, and they really help you through the process of making a portfolio, not just teaching you. Ashcan Art offers pre-college portfolio preparation courses year-round. Learn more about our courses at ashcanart.com and see accepted art portfolio examples on Instagram at ashcan.art. And please subscribe below for more art portfolio tips.